There are endless ways to design your career as a documentary filmmaker. Endless stories that you could tell. And endless ways you could tell those stories. That's why a set of rules or principles to guide your decision making can be helpful. And in this video, I'm gonna share 10 controversial rules of documentary filmmaking, according to master of the craft, Victor Kosakowski. With each one, I'm gonna offer my response and then finish by ranking which three of his rules I've used to help me guide my filmmaking. Hey everyone, I'm Austin Meyer. I'm a documentary filmmaker and National Geographic Explorer. And on this channel, I share the field tested skills, mindsets, and lessons that have helped me on my journey as a documentary filmmaker. As someone passionate about animal rights, one of the most influential documentaries I've seen over the past few years has been a film called Gunda. Gunda chronicles the life of a mother pig a flock of chickens, and a herd of cows. As I always do after seeing a documentary that stirs something within me, I started to research the team who made it. And that's when I came across award-winning director, Victor Kosakowski. What I love about Kosakowski is how passionate and opinionated he is about documentary filmmaking. Because even when I don't agree with his opinions, his views challenge me to reflect on my own creative process and think, what do I believe? What are my rules? And I hope they'll do the same for you. So that's why I want to present Kosakowski's 10 rules for documentary filmmaking. Rule number one, don't film if you can live without filming. Well, we're going to start off with a rule I do not agree with because I think everyone should film. Why not? It's fun. But I do think relentless passion for the craft is what separates those who will make a living as a filmmaker. Because filmmaking is very tough. And if you can live without filming, then the odds are you'll look for a new career path when things get challenging and when those challenges grow year after year. That's why one of my guiding principles in my own documentary career is to pursue projects that maximize my love for the process of filmmaking. Because if I can keep that love for filming and storytelling, in the long run, I'll still be around creating art when everyone else has moved on to something else. Rule number two, don't film if you wanna say something, just say it or write it. Film only if you want to show something or you want people to see something. This concerns both the film as a whole and every single shot within the film. This is a great one. And as someone who studied creative writing and has worked on narrative audio programs, I couldn't agree more that not every story is best told in a visual medium. The visual medium is best when you want your audience to really see something. So when you're directing or behind camera, ask yourself the question, what do I want to really show my audience here? Where can I point the camera to get an audience to see the world in a new way? In TV and radio, when people stop talking, that is usually when we cut in the edit. But in documentary filmmaking, often the best material we can capture is in the quiet. It's in the empty. It's in the space beyond what someone has just said when they're just looking or just being. Rule number three, don't film if you already know your message before filming. Just become a teacher. Don't try to save the world. Don't try to change the world. Better if your film will change you. Discover both the world and yourself whilst filming. Again, another one I disagree with. I love to make films with the intention of trying to make the world a better place. I get a ton of motivation to pick up my camera every day when I have a message that I wanna convey. However, I try not to be so set in my intention and my message that I stop listening and stop paying attention to the story playing out in front of me. So for me, I'd edit this rule to say, yes, use film to change the world for the better, but also stay open to what plays out in front of you so that you can discover both the world and yourself while filming. Rule number four, don't film something you just hate. Don't film something you just love. Film when you aren't sure if you hate it or love it. Doubts are crucial for making art. Film when you hate and love at the same time. I think this rule is good for not only choosing stories to film, but I, also actually for the, the making of the documentary. Compelling characters are neither good nor bad. They're neither perfect nor fundamentally flawed. They're all of these things because we are all these things. And documentary at its best 
should reflect the truth. So get comfortable in the gray area. Rule number five, you need your brain both before and after filming, but don't use your brain during filming. Just film using your instinct and intuition. Ooh, this is a goal of mine as a cinematographer. And honestly, I think I'm gonna be on a lifelong journey to get there. Because as a cinematographer, when we're early in our careers, we have to use our brain when filming. We have to think about what the editor will need in post. It's like, when we're out there, we, we go through this checklist, this mental checklist. Do I have my establishing shot? Do I got my wides, my tights, my mediums, my cutaways? Which button on the camera does this or that? But over time, the more practiced we get, the more that checklist becomes automatic, allowing for more of our focus to tune into intuition and feeling. And hopefully one day, I'll get to the point where I'm all instinct and intuition, but not quite there yet. Rule number six, try not to force people to repeat an action or words. Life is unrepeatable and unpredictable. Remember that the very best shots capture unrepeatable moments of life with an unrepeatable way of filming. I love this and don't really have much to add. Unrepeatable moments with an unrepeatable way of filming. I love how he emphasizes your own way of filming. How will you capture an unrepeatable moment in a way that only you can? That's what we're after. Rule number seven, shots are the basis of cinema. Remember that cinema was invented as one single shot without any story, or story was just inside that shot. Shots must first and foremost provide the viewers with new impressions that they never had before. To me, this rule is about the beauty and meaning of a single frame and how that frame makes you feel. When you think back to documentaries you've seen before, what's the first thing that comes to mind? probably not a plot summary. It's usually a single shot, a single moment that captured what that story was all about. That is what we should be after when we're out there filming. Rule number eight, story is important for documentary, but perception is even more important. Think first what the viewers will feel while seeing your shots. Then form a dramatic structure of your film using the changes to their feelings. I think this is a great guide for editing. Don't just think about story or plot. As you put your story together, constantly think about what an audience member is feeling at any given moment, and then make sure you bring them on an emotional journey where they change over time. Rule number nine, documentary is the only art where every aesthetic element almost always has ethical aspects, and almost every ethical aspect can be used aesthetically. Try to remain human, especially whilst editing your films. As we make documentaries, let's not lose touch of the fact we are asking people to open up their lives to us. We're asking to film them in their most vulnerable states, their highest of highs, their lowest of lows. And in the edit, we can shape a narrative to paint almost any picture we want. In the face of that, we should not hide behind the camera or behind the editing computer ignoring the ethical dilemmas of the work we do. We need to face those dilemmas head on and stay connected on a human level to the people whose story we're telling. The last rule number 10 is don't follow my rules. Find your own rules. There's always something that only you can film and nobody else. So now that we've gone through all of them, here are my top three that help me guide my decisions when making documentaries. First one I love, Film only if you want to show something or you want people to see something. Second one, film using your instinct and intuition. Again, I'm on a journey for that one. And number three, seek to capture unrepeatable moments of life with an unrepeatable way of filming. What about you? Which of Kosakowski's 10 rules of documentary filmmaking resonate with you the most? Let me know below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And until that next one, go out and tell some stories.